It had come to the attention of Pope Urban II that there was a certain hermit wandering about Europe, boasting of a letter from the angels themselves that urged a holy war to recapture Jerusalem from the infidel and to restore to the Christians the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the site of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. The Pope was also apprised of reports that Christian pilgrims were being robbed, raped, and murdered on the way to Jerusalem. And Emperor Alexius I Komnenos in far-off Constantinople was begging Pope Urban to send him Western knights to fight against the Grand Seljuk. All the while the Pope's own Christian warriors were busy slaughtering one another in war-torn Europe. Urban thought that there was only one possible endeavor that could rescue the Emperor protect the pilgrims, divert Europe's militaristic energies, and save Jerusalem. And that was a crusade, a Christian holy war that would roll back the Islamic conquest of the past four centuries and recapture the Holy Land for the cross. And so began centuries of vicious warfare that would further poison the already toxic relationship between Christians and Muslims. But even before the fall of the last of the Crusader states in the Middle East in 1291, the idea of the crusade had already morphed into something other than a holy war to wrest back the Holy Land from Islam. A crusade had been launched against Greek Orthodox Constantinople. A crusading army had marched against Cathar heretics in southern France. Popes regularly called for crusades against troublesome Holy Roman emperors. And the soldier monks of the Hospital of St. John had defied the Ottoman Turks at Rhodes and Malta. This series was created and narrated by Dr. William J. Neidinger, an archaeologist and historian with the Texas Foundation for Archaeological and Historical Research. The series is richly illustrated with images, maps, charts, and diagrams. It is designed to provide essential background as to why the Crusades were launched, to introduce major, as well as minor, historical figures and the roles they played in the Crusades, and to immerse the viewer in the scenes and landscapes where the events of the Crusades took place.